Hi, my name is Carrie Petty and I've been working with you guys on some of the basics of Pilates while we're all sheltering. So maybe now you've worked on the basics a couple of times, um, you, maybe you've even done the foam roller one, and now you want a, just a little bit longer of a workout or a little bit more continuous of a workout. So that's what we're going to do today. Again, more of a short workout, about 15 or 20 minutes, um, starting with the basics and then running through some of the more beginner Pilates exercises. So go ahead and join me. Knees are bent, feet are hip distance apart. We're just gonna focus on our breath first. I kind of like to put my hands here. I'm trying to inhale, breathe into the back and sides of the ribs. And then exhale, just feel that rib cage draw down and in together. Trying to feel that as I inhale, that I'm not exaggerating the upward breath and exhaling. Inhaling through the nose, exhaling out the mouth through pursed lips. And again, inhale through the nose and exhale out the mouth. Remembering that I want to keep the weight low in the pelvis and I want to kind of warm up the muscles across the back. My deep abdominal muscles are here. They're the most important muscle that we're working. It's that weight lifters belt you have pulled inside of you. When you pull it in, remember that you do not flatten out your back. Uh, Matt Pilates is not done with a flat back. It's done with a neutral spine because that's the spine that you use in your everyday life. So I'm just gonna press my fingertips in slightly, try to draw in my stomach away from my fingertips and then release it. If I give a little gentle cough, <clears throat> clear my throat, can feel that muscle kind of vibrate underneath my fingertips and release it. And sometimes a lot of us have a tendency to either overarch your back or kind of slump and round their back. So it's nice just to do a little bit of a rocking of the pelvis in one direction and the other. And again, all of these basics are highlighted um, more in my previous videos. So make sure that you do those. Pilates is not about the choreography, but it's about the learning the basics and applying those. So finding those deep abdominal muscles so that you're always working your core against the movement of whatever you're moving. You can also do this exercise of working the pelvis and taking a little bit higher. So now I'm gonna take it into a bridge. So I start in a neutral, my low back curve is defined. I'm just gonna tilt the pelvis, roll through the spine, one vertebrae at a time. When I get to the top here, I wanna make sure my hip bones are level with each other. Try to keep the glutes working as I slowly roll back down, one vertebrae at a time, coming all the way through neutral. Good, one more time. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, tilt the pelvis so as you're in flexion. Rolling through the spine, failing, trying to feel each vertebrae. Pause here, keep the glutes working so I can roll through that upper back and mid back. And slowly coming all the way down, good. A little movement of trying to find where the shoulder blades are engaged. I have a tendency, I know, to round my shoulders, so I want to make sure when my arms are reaching up, I'm not rolling my shoulders or pinching, but going in those two extremes helps you to know where neutral is. So I want to feel wide across my back, say centered on the bra strap area. My lap muscles underneath, think of those muscles that uh, stabilize the shoulders, the shoulder blades against the rib cage. So they're basically swimmer muscles is what you're thinking about. They give you a nice broad back. I'm gonna inhale, reach my arms up a little bit too far just to feel that. Feels tight across the front of the chest. Come back to neutral. Go the opposite direction, the pinching of the shoulder blades that we don't wanna do because we lose the strength. One more. And last one. Last basic is working through the head and neck position. So I just wanna lengthen the back of the neck. Notice I get a gentle nod. If I start to nod a little bit further, I can always put my chin underneath my chest and then slowly rolling back down. Again, inhale, lengthen the back of the neck, that gentle nod. I start to peel up the neck vertebrae this time, making sure that what I don't do is when I go to lift the head and neck, I don't go here. That creates a lot of tension through here. I definitely don't jam my chin to my chest. That's a very unnatural position to be in and back down. All right, we're gonna to start to do what we call the ab prep and then we're gonna do an, a roll up prep. 
So inhale, I'm starting to work my abdominals more. I have that. Um, remember that I use the pelvic clock, so the pelvic clock should stay level and still as I'm moving. So it's gonna be here, inhale. I'm gonna to start to move through the head and neck, reach my fingertips. It's like I'm starting, I have my shoulders engaged underneath here, pause, and then exhale to roll back down. So again, incorrectly would be like pulling my head and neck up, tightening my butt, it'll create a lot of pain and it's not gonna build any abs. We're gonna do three more, inhale through the nose, exhale, slowly move, pause, and then I set myself down, I don't just let go of everything. Again, inhale through the nose, exhale to reach forward, inhale, hold, exhale to lower down. Last one, inhale, exhale to slowly reach forward, and then back down. All right, we're gonna go up a little bit higher this time, but we're gonna start the same way. So inhale, lengthen through the back of the neck, start to roll through the neck vertebrae, upper back, then I'm gonna grab the thighs and I'm gonna lift myself up that little bit higher. So my oblique muscles are starting to work to get me up higher. Pause, let go, and then slowly back down. I'm reaching through my uh, pubic bone, through my sacrum, so my tailbone stays down. Inhale, the same motion. Exhale, you're gonna lift that little bit higher. Pause, and then exhale to roll back down. Good, two more here. Inhale, start to move. Exhale, start to reach further. Grab, lift up that little bit higher. Pause, and then exhale to roll back down. Good. All right, we're gonna grab the back of our thighs now. This is gonna help us to bring us up to a seated position. I'm not gonna rock. What I wanna do is to hold the back of my legs. I'm gonna slowly start to reach my legs forward, it starts to weight the tailbone, it starts to bring me up. Again, I'm not doing momentum. Okay, so now I'm seated and I'm ready for my half roll back. I'm gonna use the magic circle today. It helps to work a little bit on that shoulder stabilization too. It gives your arms something to do. So we're gonna do six reps here and then we're gonna change it. So inhale here, light press in. Exhale, tilt the pelvis to roll back. Inhale, hold, keep the abs pulled in. And then exhale, rolling back up. Again, inhale here, exhale, start to roll back. That's your flexion. I have a slight pressure in here. Inhale, hold, and then exhale, coming back up. We have three more to do. Inhale, pull up on the pelvic floor, tighten the abs. Exhale, to roll back. I start to roll back too far, and then my feet are gonna lift, so pause here. Exhale, keep the abs pulling in as I come back up. So you're rolling your stomach away from the front of the thighs as you go down. Still feel like you're pulling your stomach in away from your thighs as you come back up. One more, inhale here. Exhale, start to roll back. Inhale, hold. Keep the abs pulling in as you slowly come back up. All right, we're gonna do, just do a little stretch here. Put my legs out in front of me. I have my magic circle. I'm gonna hook the, that magic circle on my toes so I can just round forward a little bit. If you don't have the magic circle, you can just grab your feet, grab the back of your knees just to stretch over. All right, we're gonna do the same exercise, but we're gonna add rotation to it. I like to use the magic circle because I wanna keep the magic circle centered on my chest because your rotation should be felt in the rib cage not in the arms. So inhale, I'm gonna roll back. Exhale, I'm gonna rotate through the, and I'm gonna try to keep the magic circle centered on my sternum. Pull back through the center. Rotate to the opposite side. Pull back through the center, and then exhale back up. Pull up on the pelvic floor, tighten the belly, and roll back. Exhale, feel like you're turning from your belly button and your sternum, so you're not just turning your arms. Pull through the center. I feel the pull across the rib cage in my back, feels nice and good. Inhale, come back, and then exhale, good. Three more, roll back, exhale to turn, inhale center, exhale to rotate, inhale center, and then exhale back up, good. One more, pull back, exhale to rotate, inhale center, 
exhale to rotate, inhale center, and then exhale back up. All right, we're gonna work a little bit on the flexibility of the legs, but it's also challenging your core. So it's called single leg circle, but we're gonna do the more beginning part of that exercise. We did the bent knee fallout before where the leg goes to the side. That's actually the precursor for your single leg circle, but we're gonna do it with a bent leg. The purposes of this exercise is to keep the abs pulled in, but also working up the flexibility of the top of the leg bone and the hip joint. So I'm gonna circle the leg. Remember the pelvis stays still. People have a tendency to do the leg circle and really start to move that torso. So it's almost like I have a beam of light coming out my knee and I'm scribing a circle on the ceiling. Good. All right, then we're gonna reverse it. So we did four one way and then four the other. If you pause with each circle, it helps you to concentrate. We've got two more. It's an inhale, exhale with each circle, and again, inhale, exhale with each circle. So imagine you have that glass of water on your pelvis. So what you've got to make sure of is that your pelvis isn't moving all over the place, and neither is that other leg. One leg always works better than the other. This leg is a little bit easier for me to move. Sometimes you start to move your foot in this exercise. So remember, you want to try to feel it in your hip joint. Good. Two more. And one more. Reverse your circles. You could add reps to it if you wanted to. Six to eight would be the most that I would do. Make sure that you concentrate on what you're doing. So if you're starting to think about something else, then you're done with that exercise. Good. Nicely done. All right. We're going to do a little bit of what we call uh, placement of the rib cage, and then we're going to take that into a stretch. So it's a mermaid position. So you can sit like this. You could also sit cross-legged. Your feet could be out in front of you because your starting position, you want to feel comfortable. So what I'm going to try to do now is just move my rib cage to the right and then move it to the opposite side. Move my rib cage to the right and then move it to the opposite side. So I'm shortening the left side as the ribs go right, and then I'm shortening the right side as the ribs go left. Okay, we're gonna take it into a little bit of a stretch now, and again, this is a lower level exercise, but I'm gonna be on my knees on this exercise. So it's still rib cage placement, but it takes it into more of an elongation stretch. So my left arm is gonna press up. I'm gonna press into that right hand, I'm gonna come up onto my knees and get that luscious stretch on the left side of the body. And then slowly back down. Pull up on the pelvic floor, tighten the abs. Okay. Squeeze your glutes to press your hips forward. So your hips are doing what they do in bridge. And then inhale to come back down. We'll do one more before we switch sides. Inhale here, exhale, start to reach that arm up. And then slowly back down. All right, so you're just gonna switch your legs to the side. Again, one side's always gonna feel more comfortable than the other. You're trying to sit straight up and down. You're gonna shift your rib cage to one side and then to the other. So a lot of times we get stiffness in our back. We have a tendency not to move through the different vertebrae. So Mr. Pilates always said, you're just as young as your spine is flexible. So that's one of the things that we work on a lot. You can improve your flexibility when you improve your stability. So that's why we keep talking about pulling up on the deep abs to build that integrity of the spine. And so the body is comfortable with you building that flexibility. All right, so now we take it to mermaid. So it's a, just a little bit of a step up from this exercise, which is actually called Cleopatra. Okay, so I'm gonna press into that left hand. My right arm starts to lift up to stretch the right side of the body. So my left side is shortened, so my right side can stretch. My glutes are working to extend my hips and then slowly back down. Again, inhale, exhale, you start to move. Make sure your abs stay pulled up and in. Inhale, hold, and then exhale to lower back down. Good, we'll do two more. Inhale here. Exhale, start to reach through that arm to lift up. Inhale, hold, and then exhale to lower back down. Good, last one. Inhale, start to move. 
Exhale, squeeze those glutes, extend the hips, get that lovely stretch through your rib cage on the right side, and then inhale to lower back down. All right, we're gonna go on to all fours next. We're gonna work a little bit on shoulder stabilization. You're still working your core. This would be like a, pl a plank or a push-up kind of prep position. So I'm gonna curl my toes underneath. Fingertips are spread nice and wide. I'm just gonna hover my knees off the mat. And when I do this, what I wanna make sure that my abs are pulled up and in so I'm not sinking into my shoulders. And then lower back down. And again, inhale to lift the knees. You're loading your shoulders. You wanna make sure you're not hunching up. You have those lats engaged. And then drop down. Again, inhale, pull up on the pelvic floor, tighten the abs. Exhale, lift the knees to hold and lower down. Last one, inhale here, exhale, press, lift, and then slowly coming all the way back down. Good. I'm just gonna sit back into my child's pose to just get a nice stretch from here. And then slowly coming all the way back up. All right, so that's a little mini workout, putting some of the basic principles, talking about those in the beginning. Uh, again, if this is your first time watching, I would encourage you to go back to those basic exercises, but giving you a little bit of a flow, trying to work both flexion, rotation, working a little bit of the arms, working a little bit of the legs, and a basic Pilates workout. Hope I, hope I got you that little mini workout that some of you asked me for, and I look forward to working out with you again. Thank you.